Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I've got to say this, okay? It's very funny. The title of this particular prophetic word says you talk too much. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, if you know me by now, you know that I'm very jovial whenever I'm releasing a particular prophetic word, just so you're not tense. Just so you're not tense. Just so you're not... Um, you're not afraid. Oh, what does she want to say at this point in time? Relax. Relax. Okay? You have to relax. You have to relax. God's word comes to bring peace. God's word comes to bring healing. God's word comes to bring direction. God's word comes to bring clarity. Makes you smile. Makes you laugh. Makes you feel all right. I always say anything from God to me is good. However he wants it is good. Anything from God to me is good. And if you say to that in your heart and in your mind, you're going to be okay. Even when God is rebuking me, is good. You know why? Because whom he loves, he chastises. When God begins to sit quiet on something that you're wrong about, then you should cry and sleep on the altar of God for mercy. When God tells you, this is not good, this is good, then it's a good thing. You know, I've had to, the first time God ever rebuked me, ha, huh, I was like, hi, you know, it was so quick and it was so heavy. But I learned from that. I learned from that. I used to hear God rebukes people, but the first time he ever rebuked me, hi, quick, and it was heavy and I learned from that. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You talk too much. You talk too much. You talk too much. Whenever God is talking to somebody about their next levels, one thing the Lord wants you to do is the first thing he wants you to believe he wants you to believe what he's talking to you about, what he's saying to you about. And he wants you to understand. And the second thing God wants you to do is to watch it and that it comes to pass. Whenever God speaks to you and you go all out there and you start talking about it and it has not yet materializes, what happens is you sell out your blessings without knowing. You are advertising without knowing. And that is what has killed a lot of people. There are so many people who are in positions today because they confided in somebody. And that particular person betrayed them and took over their position. And their life is seemingly looking limited and looking stagnant. I have learned over time that being secretive sometimes is the best. Why? What people don't know, they cannot destroy. What people don't know, they cannot destroy. There is somebody right now, there is about to be a huge blessing on you. You're about to see God in another dimension. You're about to be so, so blessed that you will be so short and you're feeling it and the confirmation is all around you but this is not the time where you begin to talk 
This is the time where you keep it to yourself. Now, why is this prophetic word coming to you? This particular prophetic word is coming to you just so that you can be aware of what God wants to do. And when you are aware, you will not go about saying it. There is a special kind of blessings. There is a special kind of revelation that you don't share. There is something you're working out you don't share. You sit quiet until it happens. You have been talking about your dreams. You have been talking about your plans. You have been seeing a lot of things. And if you keep seeing all of these things, you're going to be fought for no reason. I say it again. If you keep saying all of these things, you're going to be fought for no reason. You talk too much. This time around, zip your mouth. This time around, keep your mouth shut. This time around, try. You know, there is a kind of miracle. There's a kind of breakthrough that you want to share it with somebody. Ah, you really want to do You really? All right. God is saying that. Let it materialize. Let it big. Let it grow. When it's good and it's big and it's grow, you will not even need to talk about it. Everybody will see it. Everybody will see it. I want to pray for you that lets the wisdom of God rest on you heavily. Let the Lord season your mouth, your words, your words. You will not say what you're not supposed to say. In the name of Jesus, amen. If I'm talking to you and you're not ashamed, please type in on the comment section, connect yourself, make that confession. Say, Lord, please align me, season my words. Say it again. Say, Lord, please align me, Lord, season my words. For the last time, say it again. Say, Lord, Please align me, seizing my words. Sometimes we say some things without knowing. And that is why God needs to align us. Yes. And that is why he needs to season our words. Sometimes I'm, like, I'm having a conversation and then the Lord tells me, don't say this. Don't say this particular one. I don't know how I'll stop and I'll not say that one. And I'm going to say something else because it might be used against me later. So that's how the Lord begins to stop you, seizing your words, and you don't get into trouble. Please, if this has been of great help to you, I want to beg on you to please pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord will lead you. Please pray for me. Call my name in the place of your prayers. Pray for me, please. God bless you powerfully and amazingly in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please do not forget to like, do not forget to share, and do not forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, okay, what are you really waiting for, honey? <laughs> Kindly subscribe, become a part of this amazing family. I love you already. Thank you so much for subscribing. You are very much welcome to this amazing family in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And why are you not attending our live session? Please do well to attend the live sessions. Put on your notification bell. Powerful, powerful life sessions we are always having. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cast his face to shine in you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. Love you so much, I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.